You're listening to I-95, Bangor's classic rock station with Jay Stu and Corey in the morning. Jay Stu and Corey rock. I-95, Jay Stu and Corey, Bangor's classic rock station, 95.7 FM. It's, uh, it's Dak out, but it's, uh, my computer's busted, but it's, it's at least like 25 degrees out there this morning. It's like I a freaking yes, heat wave. You're not far off. So. Not at all. I'm not, that's it. I'm done. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like today's a success. <laughs> Cancel the rest of, uh, whatever the hell. Well, one of us does, cause I just, I just tried to put the morning music matchup up, and now the intuitive AI keeps trying to change words on me. So for the longest, it was cause it's a Billy Idol matchup. I, it was, Rock the cradle of Jennifer Love Hewitt again. Every time I read the word love, it wants to put Jennifer Love Hewitt in there, nice. and it auto corrected to Jennifer Love Hewitt. I don't know why. And then it was hot in the city of Bangor, Maine. <laughs> why do you even have a computer that has that level of auto correct? I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't Did know how to turn it off. Did you put some sort of extension in there or something like that? I have no idea. It's a work wow. computer, so what they put on here is beyond me. But I, I needed to not do that because it's not. I mean. My own phone hoses me all the time, too, because the word and and abs are two different things. But it wants to put abs in everything. And I I I don't talk about abs. I'm never, we've discussed this, I'm never ducking mad at anything. You know what I mean? Yes. However, Mm -hmm. my new phone that I got a few weeks ago, I have now officially typed the F word enough that I can swipe text the F word. Like, that's like the biggest digital victory I've ever had. I'm glad. I'm glad it's working for you, man. Because uh, Siri can't understand me. I mumble apparently. Uh, listen, I, I've done a radio show wrong. with you for four years, and it's not Siri's problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I do admit, admit that I'm mumble. I mean, you're not, I mean, you're not like that guy on Big Bang Theory. Remember, he tried to use Siri, uh, the Barry Kripke, mm-hmm. and he's like. Siwi's voice recognition is terrible. <laughs> He's like, listen, True. find me a West yeah. One. He goes, I didn't say West One. I said West One. <laughs> yep. Well, and my dad had uh, he had a hard time. I told you we had to, we had to change things oh out Lord. so that he could say Alexa because he was going Shuri, Shuri. <laughs> <laughs> not at all what it is. But I, I wasn't even talking here. I was just typing, and I don't know why the internet wants me to love Jennifer Love Hewitt so much. Although it is her forty. Fourth birthday apparently today. I only know this because I typed it in, and I, not Jennifer Love Hewitt, but Cradle of Love. And Jennifer Love Hewitt came up, and I was like, "Oh, there well, it we is. should uh, we should 44. send her a birthday message today. Let her know yeah, we're I'm thinking about send her. Cradle of Love from the city hot in the city of Bangor. <laughs> She's 44. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm still yeah. old, no matter what. Even when old, even when people get old, I realize I'm still older, and it's like, oh, hey, this is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fantastic! Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna, yep. I'm just gonna open stop. up that pine box and hop inside and take. I'll a stop there. now. <laughs> All right. If Billy Idol, who is significantly older than you and myself as well, and done more drugs than out. anybody, yeah, and he's still got it, then we've got some time. I'll take your word for it. So we've got a Billy Idol battle right now. Rock the cradle of Jennifer Love Hewitt, and also hot in the city of Bangor, Maine. City Hall. Perfect. Up online right now at i95rocks.com or the app. All right, let's kick in some Guns N' Roses to get us going. Stu and Corey on Bangor's Classic Rock Station. If you are curious about the uh, weather today, not too bad. It's, it's going to be kind of cloudy, but it's going to be like 40 degrees today. Yeah. And, and things change this you know, evening. Maybe, maybe a little snow tonight. Well, Actually, nothing that, serious around here. He said, "He said messy it, things could get messy," and I'm always like, no, oh, like man. our friends up in Dover, up that way and stuff. They're yeah. going to get a few inches down here and closer to the coast, especially. It's just going to be mostly like it's just going to be dust. crap. That's all. Yep. Nothing serious, just crap. Mm-hmm. We're used to crap. <laughs> Don't I know it? Yeah, yeah. man. Crap is fine. Uh, it's the absolute. Crap show when it when that's when it becomes a whole you know I don't usually use the word crap in that particular case <laughs> I use a more alliterative term yes agreed so uh, our morning music matchup today we were talking about that is the is a it's a Billy Idol battle which is kind of fun to say did you ever read the Fox and Socks book when you were a kid um, probably Ugh, every time I say Billy Idol battle, I think of the the Beatle battles from the Fox and Sox book. Because uh, as a, as a parent, I have read that to all four of the kids, and uh, it's one of those ones where after you're done reading it, you're like, my my face is tired. My mouth definitely doesn't want to say anything else. Well, uh, Doctor yeah. Seuss made some tongue twisters, man. 
Uh, uh, we've got the Cradle of Love, or as I like to call it now, the Cradle of Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, and also Hot in the City of Bangor, Maine. Not one vote, not one for Hot in the City. Weird. Well, I mean, it's funny because it's not a bad tune, you know. Billy Idol tune. actually has all these great songs that weren't his big hits, like Eyes Without a Face. What a great song that is. I almost picked that one, but. And uh, what was that? Uh, there was another one. Uh, Flesh for Fantasy. Great song. Mm-hmm. You know, because what it is, is he had Steve, his, his wild card, his ace in the hole at all times was Steve Stevens, his guitar player. Steve was his main songwriter. They were they were a songwriting team, which I think consisted of him going, all right, Billy, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> here's the melody. Here's the words. You know, I, I, maybe Billy writes his own lyrics. I don't I, I don't honestly know. But uh, Steve Stevens is like this otherworldly talented guitar player. So he's really what elevated those songs to like the the real next level because he, he was he's just so good. So good. Mm. So, you know, consequently, Billy Idol has all these kick-ass songs. So mm. It's like Ozzy. Well, Moni Moni is the only one that I would probably never pick. Ah, well, that's me. that's a different story. Yeah, or, uh, well, honestly, Cradle of Love, even though it's winning right now, that's uh, that's pretty low on my list of Billy Idol tunes. I just remember that video when that first came out, because it was right around the time that I started watching MTV, and I was like, what in the holy crumbs? It was a, uh, it blew my mind sure. when I was a kid. Yeah, it was a funky but, video. Uh, it was a, it was a cool video. Uh, yeah, so Cradle of Love's up there. I I was telling you off air. I didn't realize for whatever reason. I don't know. I've gone my whole life and not realized that he did a version of La Woman. And as I was checking that out, it's not too terrible. So that was it's not what we eight picked. minutes like the uh, it, the original. That's what I liked about it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> it cuts out all the weird like drunken Jim Morrison rants. <laughs> Just short and sweet, but very rocking. So, like, yeah. Think about that point where Jim Morris is like, woo! Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're just like, all right, bro, settle down. It's maybe maybe have a seat over there, drink a little yeah. slower. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. So, Cradle of Love and Hot in the City, those are your two options, but he's got other great great songs True. you can vote right now. 9919713, you can hook us up on a Facebook with a message if you want, or you can app message us or you know whatever you want to do we're here we're here for you Fun, yeah i-95 bangor's classic rock station jay Stu and Corey here uh the morning music matchup is happening right now at our lovely i-95 facebook page you can go right over there and you can vote like a champ you can call us here in the studio 991-9713 you can do all the things we're in all the places i've been I, told I, I, we have not we have not heard from anybody on the phone line today no open this that's well, okay. whatever. It's it's this phone. This this phone is amazing. I discovered yesterday it lets some people call. I don't know what. Poor I don't Richard, know why. we can hear him. Yeah, and then but he could not. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's a possibility. Like later when we give tickets away, you might get it. <laughs> Our friend Paul is just like, hey, I've been trying. You got you know. So it's it's nothing personal. We are our best people are on the case, and we're trying to get to the bottom of it. So. But it is it is an issue. So we're we're still going to do our thing because it's not affecting everybody. I mean, if I use my own phone and call in, here we are. But you know, it is what mm-hmm. it is. So you're, you're hey, we it, got we're three rock votes it. for Hot in the City. Wow, it's probably yeah. because we talked about it so much. Probably, yeah. Richard Richard wanted it, uh, and then we've got Tanya and Rebecca that wanted it too. Everybody else is cradle of loving it today, which is great. Uh, and I think that's what we're going to end up seeing. So it, whatever ends up losing is going to go ahead to battle it out with the Outfields Your Love, Bon Jovi's Boys Are Back in Town, and Candy's Going Up the Country. So. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. So it's going to be uh, <clears throat> probably Hot, in the, Hot in the City by Billy Idol in that mix. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. That, it, that's, that's why we call it a battle. Someone has to win. Someone has to lose. Yep. So we're going to find out who that is in just a little bit. And then, like I said, phones be damned next hour. We're going to give away more Lamb of God slash Mastodon tickets. And, uh, of course, there'll still be another chance to uh, get in over at the app as well. So we're going to keep it on rolling. Stay right here. I-95, Bangor's classic rock station. That song just disappears. <laughs> rock the cradle of love, and then I go hide. That's what I do. Well, 
we have it twice in the log, and I was like, one version was like eight seconds shorter. So I was like, all right, I'll just throw that one in because whatever, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden it's because it just goes, dan in it. it. <laughs> and that's it. So I was trying to explain to somebody the other day, uh, obviously, you know, we talk a lot for a living. Do you ever get to the point where, like, I mean, you probably, I would imagine not so much because you actually seem to exist okay in quiet. Mm. But when I am, especially with them, when I'm out with anybody or I'm, I'm talking to somebody, if, if there's moments of silence because of what we do and when there's moments of silence when we do, usually it means like something's broken. I just, I have to like fill the air with words because I'm oh, afraid. Oh, I've seen it. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> I know exactly. And that, so I had to explain about. to somebody that like I I was just starting to get to know like I I come across as being very talkative and that most of that I mean yes I'm Gabby but really it's because I the silence is unnerving to me because I'm like okay what's broken what's not working what didn't go what didn't what didn't spin. Well, that's uh, that's just another one of. We're gonna just add that to your Pandora's box of uh, of weirdness. Yeah, my your, of weird. your yeah. stuff that well, makes you Corey. The other thing is silence in my house. If the children are home, means something's up, and not in a good way. Usually, it means either somebody's doing something naughty, something got broken. Like there's silence is not good in a house full of children when they're home. I spend hours a day not saying anything to anyone except my How dog. How does that feel? I, that's, I, that, if it was I, any other way, I'd, I'd drive on the sidewalk. So, you know. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Far. You know, I'd smile the yeah. whole time while listening to I'm looking over a four-leaf clover, bodies flying over the hood, you know. <laughs> that's wow. why. Okay. I need hours All a right. day of no people. Oh, yeah. Like, my kids were gone over the weekend, and there were a couple of instances where I had gone hours without speaking to anybody but the dog, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> you get the brunt of me today. Yeah. I don't know. It's, we live very different existences, and oh, I love yeah. that because it, it makes us very different, but I don't. silence is not something I, I don't feel well. You're doing it right now. You are filling the air with words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I do. Yeah, All right, uh, they're we... going to be filling the air with basketballs over at the tournament today. They've got more tournament stuff. We'll talk about that yeah. later on. We also got tickets uh, to, to give our... away, so we're going to do that yeah, when we come away. back. So stay right here. I ninety five Bangor's classic rock station ninety five point seven FM. Here we are. What, what Thursday? Thursday. Oh, thank God. Mm. Thank God. I was afraid it was still Wednesday. Actually, I did have that crushing realization. I woke up at whatever o'clock this morning and I was like, oh, thank God it's Friday. And then I was like, oh, no, buddy. It isn't. Oh. <laughs> that's so worse. Yeah. At least it wasn't Tuesday or Wednesday. And I thought, yeah, it was that's true. Yeah. It sucks getting lost in the week. The kids nah, off all week long, too. I have no idea what, what it is. Sure. Uh, and tournament time, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. They've uh, got games up there. I can't imagine. Imagine, like, I'm glad my my kid's season's over because it was it was pretty balls to the wall all, all like winter. So I'm like, I'm all right with a break. But these guys yeah. who do super well, they they got to go and do these other things, and uh, <laughs> I'm I'm all right with that. But uh, they've got a Class D semifinals kicking off today, at least in the morning, um, at bright and early, ten o'clock. Ugh. I don't even like to think about I love about that you think a 10 o'clock is bright and early. What? In my, in my world, I am not a morning person. Oh, well. <laughs> I know. So it's like I'm, this is, for me, if I could sleep in, 10 o'clock would be like, I would probably sleep oh, in until about 9.55. If I slept till 10 o'clock, that would be the equivalent of sleeping till like 4 in the afternoon. Mm. Like, I couldn't do that. No way. No way. See, I work from such a sleep deficit that I think it's like, that's why my body's just oh, like, sleep till you can, lady. Preaching to the go. choir there. It's not like I'm getting hours of sleep a day by starting oh, yeah. it earlier. I'm just, you know. But let's but. Uh, wake someone up now with some tickets to see <gasps> Lamb what? of God and Mastodon. All you have to do today is tell us if the animal that we ask you uh, about is real or unreal. Is it a fake animal or is it a real animal because you know we've got the lambs and the mastodons all coming to town and the malevolence 
<laughs> and Carrie King. So, yeah. All right. So 991-9713, if you can answer us whether the animal is real or unreal, you can win tickets this morning to see Lamb of God and Mastodon. 991-9713. Hit us up. Let's do this. I-95, who's this? Hey, this is Seth. Seth, how you doing, Bubba? Oh, not too bad about yourself. Oh, wicked ducky and stuff. So, uh, you want to win some tickets to see Lamb of God Mastodon, Bub? Oh, hell yeah. It's been forever since I've seen Lamb of God. All right, then. You just have to tell us. This is going to be a hard one, so you get your thinking cap on. If this animal is real or unreal, and then you can win the tickets, okay? All righty. Are you ready? Because uh, this is serious. I'm, I'm, I'm going to blow your mind here. Okay. Sounds All right. good to me. Jackalope. Jackalope. It was only real on America's Funniest Home Videos, you know, sister show there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that Full House is the sister show to America's Funniest Home Videos. I that other it. Bob Saget show. Bob Saget. <laughs> Bob Saget. Awesome, Seth. You won. Sweet. Thank you. I, I do love that uh, at a certain point, Bob Saget became kind of a swear, swear. word. I yeah. think he would be, I think he would love that. He would absolutely be thrilled with that. It's like Kelly Clarkson from 40-Year-Old Version. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> exactly. You know, just throw it all out yep. there. Get it all going. Uh, well, congrats oh. to Seth. He's off to see Lamb of God in Mastodon uh, in August. If you didn't get in on the phone, you can put Jackalope in. I don't even I know how to spell that. Jackalope, so matter. do your best. It's spelled Spelling O-A-T-M-E-A-L. Oh, no, that's how you spell it. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, yep. So tomorrow we will uh, deal with our app winner and uh, be uh, be done with that for now and then move on to mm -hmm. some other things. We got all sorts of shows that have been announced and, and shows that we got tickets to, stuff that uh, I don't even know if we've announced it all yet. I can't keep oh, it all no. straight at this I point I mean, this anymore. week alone it was Dan and Shay and James Taylor. Next week, I don't even know. And we, and we just came off of Creed Three Doors Down and Mammoth WVHS. VHS. VHS. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can just stop with a VH. <laughs> You're just adding extra letters yeah, at that I point. Yeah, I know. I know you like uh, to fill the air with words, but, you know. I, oh, come on. <laughs> at least I'm being honest about my own crutches. That's, that's what I have. There you go. All right. Well, uh, when we come back, of course, we haven't even touched anything from the website. And there's just, you know, other things that are out there that we should discuss. So stay right here. I-95, Chase doing Corey on Bangor's classic rock station. You know, speaking of flying high again. Hey, this is weird. I just checked this out this morning. I saw this online. This mm -hmm. isn't on our website or anything, but I thought this was cool. You know, we have the, the eclipse coming up, right? Yep. I think it was Delta is offering a flight out of Texas to Detroit. Mm -hmm. that times perfectly with the eclipse so that you can ride the entire time in the path of totality and basically no. ride the eclipse what? From, from Texas to Michigan. <laughs> How cool is that? What did you do yesterday? I rode the eclipse in the sky. <laughs> that is awesome. If I was chock full of disposable income, that is right, something yeah. I would do just because, you know, <laughs> why not? You know, I don't know though. Like me and my my lack of trust in, in things and my my brain going where it was. I, I'll, I'd rather be in a bunker than in the middle of the sky. In the middle oh, of the listen, we we have a we have an article on our site right now about a dude from Freiburg that was on a plane that the, like the wing broke. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? So I, I, I get you. But uh, I remember one time it was oh, actually it was when Casey and I got married. We were on our way out for our honeymoon on the West Coast. And we, it wasn't on purpose, but we timed it just right that we basically watched the sunset for six hours. Oh, like, like 11 o'clock at night. And it's like, I'm still watching the sun, you know, it, like in my Aww. East Coast mind. That's so it was, romantic. Uh, it, it was accidentally romantic. It worked. That's okay. It, yeah. Just claim it, man. I'm giving you a freebie. Go oh, it, it. It's, <laughs> I, I didn't buy the tickets. <laughs> I oh, can't take any God. credit for it. It was oh, just, Lord. it was just great. It was wonderful. We enjoyed it. Huh. It was a My thing. kids and I, we like to do that every once in a while. Usually in the freezing cold, I don't know what, but we, a few years ago we started the tradition of like chasing the, the sunrise so, somewhere. And, and we, one day we did it on uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So like we saw the sun come up on the, the new year, which was really cool. And they actually just came to me this past week and we're like, can we do that again? And I'm thinking, oh, okay. 
my son, he actually came to the conclusion. He's like, Mom, as much as I do want to sleep in, because I was like, I'm with you, kid. And he goes, it's kind of fun. And I'm like, oh, man. So I think I was like, well, what if we tried a sunset yeah. drive? So now i got to figure out where the best place to check the sunset would be. I mean. Sure. And, and, and do that. He's like, well, find a, like a cool hill. I'm like, I want it to be a little more spectacular than finding a cool hill, but well, any place you can do that. I mean, that's impressive. Sure, yeah, well, flying, to, flying within the clips. To his point, though, you know, if you could get up high enough and with without as much trees around, you could get you know like that wide panoramic view yeah. of the sunset. Like out at camp, we can't we get the sun rises, which is nice. You know, I'm not, I'm not complaining mm-hmm. about that. You get these majestic sunrises every morning at the lake. Uh, the folks across the lake get all those sweet sunsets. So we have to get out in the boat and go out and watch. But, like, if you can get across the lake and then watch the sunset, it's just like... It's like watching a... It's like watching a... a it's like watching the earth create. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You're just like... Well, the other thing I thought is, like, this weekend's supposed to be kind of cloudy, too, at some point in time. So, you know, we've done it so that we've gone all the way, like, out to Blue Hill and set up, like camp chairs and stuff and we've been sitting there waiting and then we miss it because there's clouds. Yep. <laughs> so. But if you look around online and you're interested in chasing the eclipse that is an available cool. option for uh, hmm. people who are just that cool. Uh, in the sky. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. But anyway, we have articles about eclipses and flights and broken planes and all that stuff right now at i95rocks.com of the app. Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station, I-95. I was just looking at this thing over at our our website. I don't know mm-hmm. if you've uh, been aware of this yet, but there's a dude in Augusta that's been, you know, he sees deer in his backyard all the time. And he says, literally overnight, this one deer he's been watching, it's, it's, its leg fell off. What? Yeah, like one day the deer had four legs and the next day the deer had three legs. Was there, like, visual evidence? Oh, there's, there's the photos. Leg? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Photos and stuff. Like, okay. you know, like, I, one day it was a four-legged deer. The next day it was a three-legged deer. What? And this poor deer, I mean, ugh, I, I love animals so much to the point, like, it hurts my feelings to look at injured animals. <laughs> I, I laugh because, you know, otherwise I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cry in despair. But it looks like it's so healed. Oh, yeah. It, it's nuts. But he, he said it literally, the guy says that, that it happened, like, literally, it was, like, over the weekend. And it was just there one day and gone the next. Where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> That's the mystery. I mean, uh, I, I don't understand it. But it's it like happened. It the thing is, like, because the reason why I wanted to see this photo, we, it, was it trauma? Did it get hit by something? And maybe it, like, well, that he he's not sure. Trip. You know he, what I mean? He he doesn't know what happened. It was just he just he recognizes the deer in his yard, and he was just <laughs> four legs one day, three legs the next. Ugh. And it's just it's a it's a mystery of mysteries. That's for sure. I mean, whatever happened, Nature's like so you weird. said, it was very it was a clean removal of some kind and looks in pretty good shape. It doesn't. There's no. There's. I was. I was looking like for carnage or some sort of violent looking. There's no wound really. Not really at all. So it's it's this mystery gets deeper and deeper. We'll have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Well. We probably won't figure it out. Hopefully someone chimes in, you know, in the comments or something. It's like, well, this is why this happens. Just random. <laughs> Maybe they're like falling. geckos that break their tail off when they're being chased and the deer's just like, all right, uh, have a leg. I'm <laughs> just going to keep going, you know. Is leprosy a thing in deers? Uh, well, actually, next hour we can talk about this uh Issue with chronic wasting syndrome. Uh, chron- oh, chronic God, that wasting looks disease. terrifying. I don't know that I want to talk about that because I don't want that to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but we'll come back to that. In the meantime, if you want to see this deer, though, with the, this poor three-legged animal, we've got photos at i95rocks.com or the app.